It's Ramsey Dewey over here at the Animal Gym in Shanghai, China. I've got my friend Fang here. He's a judo practitioner, and you might notice he's wearing a sambo jacket, a kurtka. Why? Because I'm going to use my platform of approximately one quarter million subscribers to win a pedantic argument on the internet. This is a just use of power. What was the argument about? It was about the difference between a sambo jacket and a jujitsu jacket. So, you might notice a sambo jacket, a kurtka, has a pleat in the shoulder that you can grab that gives you all kinds of cool controls right here that you don't have with a judo jacket or a jiu-jitsu jacket. This is a strong control, a high collar grip right there. I can grab that, move them around quite a bit, but if I have control of the shoulder pleat as well, oh my goodness, I can snap this guy all over the place. I can do like a Tayotoshi right there off a shoulder grip. It's crazy. You can't do that with one of these. Here, you know the Tayotoshi. Tayotoshi? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, sh could you show the grips you just used for that? So he's got a grip right below the elbow here and one on the collar, okay? He needs this in order to get rotational force here. Okay, do that one more time. Okay, now. Let's do the same thing with the Sambo jacket from these grips. Oh my goodness, this is almost like cheating. If he's got a Sambo jacket and I've got the Jiu Jitsu jacket, because now I can do that same throw off of a really easy grip to get. Now, of course, if you're, if you're fighting a guy who's experienced with this, he's obviously going to be experienced with grip fighting with the shoulders and all of this, and then it's going to be a whole different thing and nothing's easy in a fight. But the whole point is, this guy was telling me, no, 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 you can do all the same moves with a jiu-jitsu jacket that you can with a sambo jacket. False! Absolutely false! So with this grip right there, besides Tai Otoshi, what else can we do? I mean, virtually, like every judo throw, let's say Uchimata, for example, I don't need an underhook. I don't need an overhook. Here, do a Uchimata uh, judo style. Okay. Okay. Here. Now show the grips you were using specifically. So he's got a grip on the sleeve and a grip on the collar. Right? Go and do the throw again. Okay. Well, we're going to simplify this, get a high collar grip and a shoulder grip. Even if he has the collar right here, this gives me so much power. It's an overpowered control. I can make the guy go flying with minimal effort. Now, if I use traditional judo grips and try to do the same thing there with that same amount of power that I just used with the shoulder, notice he's not going flying all over the place. I can unbalance him and there are ways to finish right here, but it's like, that's quite literally the same level of power as that. It's an OP grip, man. It is an OP grip. This, just this, changes the game. Not just the throws, but in virtually everything. Anytime we change a rule, even a little bit, we change just one subtle little thing, it changes the sport completely. All right, high collar grip, shoulder grip. That's so much easier than doing it with judo grips. So we got Ogoshi one more time. Okay. Let's do Harai Goshi. Okay. Let's do Uchimata. Okay. Let's do the Captain Kirk judo throw, Tomoe Nage. Oh, I know, Hosoto Gari. How'd that feel? Huh? I tried again. Huh? It's crazy, right? Like how much air time you have just off that shoulder grip? Okay. Oh. <laughs> that accelerates fast. Okay, I'm gonna get on Okay. Huh. 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 
in this. They're like, man, I should do some boat. It's like, The kurtka, or the sambo jacket, is basically a hybrid of the judo jacket, plus the shoulder grips you get from Chinese wrestling or shuai jiao, bok wrestling, Mongolian wrestling, and other jacketed wrestling systems. This single grip is substantial. While Fang was throwing me around, this is his first time using these particular grips. Like, have you ever bought someone in a Sambo jacket before? No. Okay. Now, you said something really interesting, which is, it's, it's almost like this was designed by people who know how to wrestle. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, it feels really great. Like, you know, I grab, I just need to control, like, one of your shoulder. Then I pretty much have control of your entire, like center of gravity biomechanics that kind of stuff yeah absolutely it's if you can bind the other person's shoulder to your body if you can do that you've got complete control take for example a russian tie up russian two on one uh it's not the arm i'm controlling it's the shoulder i'm combining my shoulder and his shoulder together so if i move this way he has to move this way if i go down he comes down if i come up he comes up because we're connected so this grip right here here just move me around the room with that grip so if he snaps me down, yeah, keep moving me around. It's like a steering wheel. You can move me right, move me left, move me up, move me down. You got snap downs. It's crazy what you can do with that. Can you do that with a judo jacket or a jujitsu jacket? I need like, I need like fingers of iron grip. Yeah, you, you need iron grip fingers. Now this is an A4 size gi. I brought this one, my, my largest gi. I usually wear an A3 specifically. So somebody here, try that on. So somebody on the internet won't be like, oh, well, if you can get the slack on the thing, because there, there's slack on this. There is slack. So if he allows me to loosen this up and get my fingers under here, okay. Now I've got a comparable grip. But now fight back. Right. Grab it, grab it, go on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not going to happen. But, but get a tight control here. Now I can still strip that, but look, now it's work. Now it's work, and i got to work to get my own grips before he throws me through the air right here. So now the strategy is completely different. So let's not kid ourselves and pretend that this, here, strip that grip, is the same as this. Like I said before, you change one tiny detail, it changes everything. Think about kickboxing and Muay Thai. They're similar sports. But in Muay Thai, you can grab the guy and hit him with elbows and bring the knee to the face and do some extended clinch fighting and sweep him and trip him and all this other stuff you can't do in kickboxing. And so if you've never trained for it, you're going to get killed, man. Same thing. The difference between jiu-jitsu and MMA, it's not the same thing. If you get a black belt in jiu-jitsu and nothing else, and then go into a cage fight, you're going to get your butt kicked if you don't train for the sport of MMA. So these tiny details, like the fact there's nothing to grab here, and there's something to grab here, that matters. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. Do you like the rash guards and shorts that I wear in my YouTube videos? We'll get your own at xmarshall.com, and don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off your entire purchase. Over the years, I've been offered a lot of sponsorship opportunities on YouTube, and I've turned most of them down, except for xmarshall.com for a very specific reason. It is a brand that I use. It's a brand that I trust. They make quality gear. I don't want to sell you crap that takes your attention away from getting out there and training. X Marshall is a brand that supports athletes and has from the very beginning. So if you're going to get training gear anyway, it might as well be the good stuff.